Hello everyone, mabuhay. This is Larry M. Del Rosario and for today's blog, I will be discussing topics on arithmetic sequence. Before I proceed, please feel free to watch and don't forget to subscribe and kindly click the bell button so that you will be updated about my latest uploads. Thank you. So I divided this topic in many parts so that you will be able to grasp clearly the lesson. So as an introduction to arithmetic sequence, by definition, a sequence in which a constant d can be added to each term to get the ne next term is called an arithmetic sequence. So the constant d is called the common difference. To find the common difference or the d, subtract any term from one that follows it. Let's say, for example, we have the sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify the terms of the given sequence. What will be our first term, second term, third term, and so on and so forth. So the first term is always the first number written on the sequence, and that is 1. The second term is 4. The third term is 7. The fourth term is 10. And the fifth term is 13. In order for us to determine the common difference, we need to subtract two consecutive terms in the sequence, the preceding term to the previous term. Let's say, for example, the preceding term is 4 and the previous term is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. The preceding term is 7 and the previous term is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. The preceding term is 10 and the previous term is 7, so 10 minus 7 is 3. The preceding term is 13, and the previous term is 10. 13 minus 10 is 3. So in order for us to determine the next term of, this, the, next term of the sequence, we are going to add the common difference in each term. Let's say, for example, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, so the next term is 13 plus 3 equals 16, and so on and so forth. In order for you to easily understand the lesson, let us first have a series of examples. Find the first term and the common difference of each arithmetic sequence. Given the sequence 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, the first term, or our A, is the first number written on the sequence, which is 5. Followed by the common difference, so we are going to subtract two consecutive terms. This time, we are going to use our A sub 2, or the second term, minus A sub 1, or the first term. Our second term is 10, minus our first term, which is 5, and that is equals to 5. Next example, we have 34, 27, 20, 13, 6, negative 1, and negative 8. So we are just going to do the same process. So our first term is the first number written on the sequence, which is 34. And our common difference, we are going to subtract 27 by 34, and that is negative 7. Always be careful. Always check to make sure the difference is the same between each term. Okay, let's try to check using example number 1. So 30 minus 25 is 5, 25 minus 20 is 5, 20 minus 15 is 5, 15 minus 10 is 5, 10 minus 5 is 5. So each sequence represents an arithmetic sequence. Now you try. Find the first term and the common difference of each of these arithmetic sequences. Did you get the answer? Let us now try to answer it. So the first sequence is 1, negative 4, negative 9, and negative 14. So our first term, or A, is 1, since it is the first number written on the sequence, and our second term, and our common difference is A sub 2 minus A sub 1, which is negative 4 minus 1, which is equal to negative 5. 
Next is 11, 23, 35, 47. So the first term is 11, and our common difference is a sub 2 minus a sub 1, 23 minus 11, which is equal to 12. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, thank you and God bless.